Today is the first of December, Tuesday. It's the second day of the COP. Um, we've gone into negotiations and uh, a few of the heads of state are still around and doing announcements of various kinds. I'm not going to talk about today's events today, but I'm going to talk about um, the issue of one and a half degrees, which came up by the Climate Vulnerable Forum countries yesterday, and we're getting uh, a lot of support, but we're also getting a lot of pushback. And I'm going to try and answer some of the questions that we keep getting. And the answer to that is that while two degrees is going to certainly protect most people, most ecosystems and most countries, it's not going to protect all. And the ones that aren't going to be protected are the poorest people in the poorest countries in the world. And there are approximately 100 million of them living in low-lying islands, low-lying coastal areas, and mid-continental drought-prone uh, areas. And if we were to accept two degrees as a global goal, then we will have to accept at the same time that we are writing these people off. We are telling them that we cannot protect you. We will protect us, but we will not protect you. And that's a very bad thing for leaders to have to say. But if they decide to say it, they must realize the consequence of their actions and their decision. So that's why we're asking for one and a half as opposed to two. We accept that it's very difficult. At the moment, we are headed for well over three degrees. If you take into account all the promises made in the climate change action plans of countries, which they call INVCs, it takes us down to 2.7 degrees, nowhere near even 2 degrees, let alone 1.5 degrees. So it's very difficult. We understand that and we accept that. On the other hand, difficult is not impossible. We do not believe it's impossible. We believe there's enough money, there's enough technology to do it. There simply isn't enough political will to do it. And Paris is about generating political will. We got speeches yesterday of political will. Those speeches have 12 days to translate themselves into an agreement that can be written down on paper and everybody can agree to by Friday of next week. And that's what we're trying to do here, is to generate the political will, hold our political leaders to account, and make them realize that they should be doing the right thing and not just the politically expedient thing. At the moment, the one and a half degrees is proposed by a combination of the least developed countries group, who are about 49 countries, the small island developing states, who negotiate as the alliance of small island states, who are about 40 plus countries, and the continent of Africa, which is about 50 plus countries. These three groups together are about 100 countries. And there are a number of others in the Climate Vulnerable Forum who are not belonging to these three groups who add up to 106 countries as of today. That is actually a significant majority of the UNFCC, which has 194 countries. But they're not the important ones. The important countries, which are the rich countries, like the United States and Europe, and the fast-developing large countries like China, India, Brazil, do not support one and a half degrees. And so it's an uphill battle. If it was a democracy, we would have won by now. But it's not a democracy. It's where the power counts. And we, we are not the powerful. But we hope we can persuade the powerful to change their decision by Friday of next week. I think we can. I think if we galvanize support from civil society, which we are getting today, Climate Action Network for the third time in its history, is going to award something called the ray of the, the day. They do a fossil of the day every day for countries that are bad in the negotiations. They're going to do a ray of today, a ray of, of uh, um, for the Climate Vulnerable Forum countries, which will be received by Philippines. Unprecedented action from civil society. They did a demonstration yesterday. And uh, as I said in my vlog yesterday, we have a, a hand sign with the one right hand one circle for the zero and left hand five, 1 1.5 to survive is our slogan. And it's catching on and people are doing it. And we hope that we'll be able to persuade leaders by Friday next week that it's the right thing to do.